In this first episode of Automate Everything series, I'm going to show you how you can connect Twitter with ChatGPT and allow it to draft and post viral tweets on your account every single day. The first thing is that you want to go to Twitter and here in the search bar, you can really type anything. I'm going to type marketing. And here what you want to do is to click on these three dots and go to advanced search. You can also go to this page directly, twitter.com slash search advanced. You are going to be immediately redirected to this pop-up. And so this is a very good tool for you to find the most viral content on Twitter. For the sake of this video, I'm going to try to find a viral content in the field of marketing. So here I am typing that the content has to contain marketing as a word in the tweet. You can also play with exact phrase, any of these words or hashtags. Here you can choose the language of tweets you want to show. In my case, I'm going to go with English. Here in the accounts, you can also search um, specifically if you have your favorite account that you are following and you would like to create tweets that are very similar to them. We want to not include replies. So we are going to untick this one. And then we also want to find tweets that have no links in them. So we are also going to untick this one. Here is actually where you can really specify the viral tweet on Twitter. Now you can experiment with these ones, but what I like to do is to actually focus on the retweets because for me, retweets are the main KPI that tells you how popular this tweet is. So if it has a lot of retweets, we can assume that it has had a lot of impressions. So let's say that we would want to get at least 100 retweets. The minimum number of likes, um, let's go with 500 and then minimum of 10 replies. But for me, again, retweets are the ones that you should be focusing on. And then you can also specify the dates. So here you can, uh, for example, say that you would want to focus on a specific period of time. So here you could potentially, if you're interested in finding viral tweets about ChatGPT and AI go and say that the tweet has to be created from uh, December 2022 till today but here in this example I'm just going to hit search and just like that we found the most engaging viral content on Twitter within our field you can also see the condition over here in the search bar so we have the keyword then we have the minimum replies that's 10 we have minimum faves that's number of likes and then we have minimum retweets 100 and lastly we have language and we want to filter for containing no links as well as not show any replies right now what you want to do is to pick one or two tweets from here because we are going to be using that tweet later in this tutorial but here just pick a tweet that you think is going to go within your niche is structured well as well as um, it's something that you would post on your account as well now the second thing you want to do is to go to zapier zapier basically is the automation platform for you which you can use with over over 5,000 apps. And in our case, we are going to be connecting ChatGPT with Twitter to draft and post viral content on Twitter for us every single day. Here, what you want to do is to go and create Zap. And then the structure of the flow is very simple. You have a trigger and then you have an action. So in our case, the trigger is going to be post this every single day. So we are going to be using schedule by Zapier app, which is built directly into Zapier. Here we are going to firstly choose an event. Let's say that in our case, we would want to create a tweet every single day. So we are going to simply click on every day. We are going to continue. And then we have additional settings. Do we want to post on Twitter on weekends as well? I think that makes sense. So I'm going to keep it yes. And then we have time of the day. Here you can choose when the trigger should be fired. So let's say that our goal is to post every single day at 9 p.m. We are going to continue. And right now what you can do here is that you can test this trigger if it works. We are going to hit test trigger and then your trigger is working. So here you get some additional output. For example, today is Sunday when I'm filming this video. So it seems like it's working. We are going to hit continue. And the second thing right now is that you want to set up your action. So here what you want to do is to go and uh, search for ChatGPT. The first thing is that we are going to choose event conversation. You have the description over here. It sends a chat to OpenAI and generate a completion storing the message as you go. That's exactly what we want to do. We are going to hit continue. And right now I have my chat GPT already connected, so I don't have to do it. If you want to know how you can connect chat GPT with Zapier, I have a whole tutorial about it explaining it step by step. So I'm going to link it down below. 
I'm going to press continue. And right now we can set up all the settings for ChatGPT. So the first one that is required is user message. And the user message is basically the prompt that you want to send to ChatGPT. Now the prompt can look differently for everyone. It depends on how you like to structure your prompt. But this is how I'm going to structure this prompt specifically for posting on Twitter every single day. Here you can see I write create a viral tweet like these ones. And here I put in the brackets the tweet that I found doing the research on Twitter. So then when I post this on my Twitter every single day, I'm going to attract people to visit my profile and then hopefully follow me. The second thing is that I'm setting up a context. So here I write you run a Twitter account that helps marketers use tech and AI at work. And lastly, I'm setting up details. The tweet should be maximum of 250 characters, include free hashtags. And here I wrote free hashtags that I researched are great for my niche. So this is really up to you to decide which tweets you want to include. Then we have username. Here you can leave it as a user and then assistant name, you can leave it as assistant as well but feel free to experiment with these ones as they write over here. Now here in the assistant instructions, I like to change this one. So you are a helpful social media assistant. We are going to be using GPT 3.5 here. Now here's a very important feature that you want to set up. And here you can think about memory key as a separate conversation. So if you set up this key and you can write anything here, it can be a number, it can be a word, whatever. It's going to put all the tweets that it's going to generate in one conversation. So that's what you want to do because if you provide this key, this unique value will allow the assistant to continue a conversation from previous messages. And if you don't provide this memory key, the assistant will not remember this conversation going forward. So here you can write anything really. So I'm going to write Twitter ChatGPT. Now because we are putting everything into one conversation in ChatGPT, so then it's going to remember all the previous tweets that it's going to generate for us. We can go back to our prompt and for example in our details, we can write something like don't repeat the same tweets or you can write something like always create a unique tweet that you have not generated before. Now with the maximum tokens, you can leave it to 50. If you don't know what tokens are, again, I'm going to link the video down below. I explained it there. Then temperature and top P, you can leave it at one. We are going to hit continue. And here is where we are going to test this, whether it's going to generate the tweet for us. So we are going to test action and we got a green tick over here and the conversation was sent to GPT about six seconds ago. So it looks like it has worked. So let's just double check. All right, so we can see content. Um, we have the tweet over here, but what you can see is that we have these quotation marks that we don't obviously want to have in our tweet. So we can go back to our action. You can simply just add a sentence here. Don't include any text before or after the tweet and don't use quotation marks. So this is a very quick way how you can fix this. We are going to retest this action and see whether the tweet is now going to be just a plain tweet without the quotation marks. And now in this test that we have done, you can see that we don't have any quotation marks. The second way how you can format your ChatGPT output is that you can hit on the plus button and then you search for something called Formatter by Zapier. Here, what you can do is that you can click on text as the event, and then you want to transform and you want to use the replace function. So here you just put the conversation of ChatGPT as your input. You can scroll all the way down and find the tweet that you have just generated. It's under assistant response message. If you click on it, you can add it in the input field. And then here you want to find the quotation marks and then you want to replace it with nothing. So then it removes the quotation marks from your tweet. In this case, we already have included it in our prompt. So we can just remove this one. Now, when we have the tweet generated that has the potential to go viral and grow our Twitter account, we can go and hit on plus and we are going to set up the last action, which is going to be posting this ChatGPT tweet to our Twitter account every single day. So we are going to lastly search for Twitter. Then in Twitter, you want to choose the event that is called create a tweet. You want to continue. I already have my Twitter connected. You simply just log in to your Twitter account and then give permission to Zapier to access your Twitter account. I'm going to hit continue. And here the message that we want to tweet is going to be the conversation we have had with ChatGPT. So you want to scroll all the way down and you want to find assistant response message. You can click on more and just double check whether this is your tweet. We can click on this one and then you can also add images, videos or GIFs if you want to. 
Now you can do this with a second app in Zapier that is called OpenAI, which allows you to add images as well. Now here we don't have any URLs, so you can just leave it as it is and we can click on continue. Now you can see a preview of the message that is going to be tweeted on our Twitter. So we can right now test this action, whether it works. I'm going to hit test action. And right now what it should happen is that it should send this tweet to my profile and automatically tweet this message to my audience. Now it looks like it has been done seven seconds ago. We got a green tick over here as well. So I'm going to go to my profile and just like that, I got the tweet over here. And right now we have this set up so we can give this a name. So for example, I can name this Twitter ChatGPT. And so when I hit publish every single day, it's going to be triggered at 9 p.m. The conversation is going to start in ChatGPT based on the prompt that we set up. And then Twitter is going to use that ChatGPT conversation to post this tweet on my profile every single day. So the last thing is that you can just hit publish and then this flow is going to start. If you enjoyed this first episode of Automate Everything series, please give this video a thumbs up. Also subscribe down below if you're interested in this automation series. There are going to be more episodes coming out. I post every single week. Thank you so much and have a great day.